Hello everybody and welcome to Gaming with Mr. Poopy. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Diablo 4. Fantastic game, fantastical. I highly recommend this game. Very addicting. Action RPG. Fun fun. And the Necromancer is hella fun to play with with his minions of hell here. Um, Alright, so. Uh, we got our stats up top in the left corner. Um, we have uh, got the RTX 3080 Ti paired up with the i7-12700K, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, as you can see right now, we've got 140-something frames per second. Settings. V-Sync is off, 1440p. Um, DLLA is on for our anti-aliasing. Everything else is set to ultra. Ultra, ultra, high, 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 highest. All right, so there you go. So, here is our frame rate. We're gonna walk out the city here. Because typically outside the city, frame rates are a little higher. And we wanna get in some fights. There we go. I need more time. Ah! That's a waste for two people. I hope it's all right. Um, ew. Got some hornets. I hate hornets. Lama. I love the necromancer. He's got this corpse explosion. He just boom, 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 boom. Just blow up those corpses. <laughs> it does quite the amount of damage. So, we're still holding steady in the 150s and 60s. Smash! Look at this chunky beast. I need more time. There we go. Oh. Kaboof. So yeah, we're in the 160s. Very nice. Um, let us go back into the settings. And let's try some quality DLSS. Not that we really need it, but let's see how it goes. Um, hmm. What's going on with the frame rates here? Oh, there we go. Took a little second there to settle things down. But now we're in the 240s. Yeah, that DLSS definitely cranked, cranked the frame rates up. Um, is it really necessary in a game like this? Eh, I don't think so. This is in, like some fast-paced shooter. Um, but, I mean, if you're, you've got a lower-end GPU and you're having some trouble running the game, the option is there. As long as it's DLSS compatible, um, which honestly I think any DLSS compatible GPU isn't really going to have much of a problem running this game, <laughs> but it's there, so options are good. Um, yeah, 250s. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, you know, if you've got a 240 hertz monitor. Um, I could see maybe wanting to put some of this DLSS on. Wouldn't hurt. Get those smooth frames. Could be nice. Um, all right. So yeah, that's uh, no reason for me to do that because my monitor is only 165 hertz. So that would be kind of a waste to have DLSS on and sacrifice that sharpness, that picture sharpness for this. But, it's there for anybody who wants it. Blow them up. All right. Um, let's. I always hit that. Oh. Let's go back in here and uh, let's put it on performance, just for the hell of it. We're doing the test. Might as well test it. And might take a moment. There we go. Now we're in the three hundreds. Well, we got some enemies now, so a little more going on the screen. 
Marauders, arsonists, firebrands. All these jerks. Leave us alone. Ow! You bully! Ah! Blow him up. Summon the army of hell. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, oh! It's that little gold card. Uh, the little goblin. Get him. Get him. Get him. Murder him. Treasure goblin. Ah! Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. We'll just pick it all up. You want getting away from me? Yeah, uh, he always runs away from me, that little rascal. Yeah, so ultra. Or, I don't know, you gotta, yeah, I mean, this DLSS mode, you know, again, like I said, I don't know if it's necessary, but it's there. Um, the only thing is that the image is definitely taking a hit here. It's a little grainier looking. Not, not, not a fan of this. Um, so let's uh, get back in here. Yeah, I, would, I mean, if I was going to use DLSS, I probably wouldn't use anything more than quality if I needed it. And then we've also got Ultra Performance. Let's give it a look-see. Yeah, things are even... Yeah, now things are starting to look real hazy, soft, and gritty. But we're in the 300s. I mean, does it really matter? I don't know. It's there. Well, hi, Bubble Guts. Sounds like you had too much Taco Bell. The spider host here. Oh, God. Disgusting. You. Gross. Damn spiders. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this, uh, the quality of the picture now. All right, so, uh... Let's uh, get back in here, and uh, we will put this on back to DLAA, save, and our frame rate is going to drop drastically. Uh, let that, let's go out of here. It's because we're in the menu. There it goes. Okay. All right. Now, oh yeah, what a difference now. Picture's nice and sharp. Um, all right, so we already did this, so let's make sure he's dead. Okay. Um, let's see what the lowest settings look like. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the lowest. Clutter quality. No clutter. No distortion. There we go. Now that's the lowest. There we go. All right. All right, let's take a little... Oh! What the hell happened to the ground? I feel like I went back to the PlayStation 2 days. Um, yeah. <laughs> Graphics have certainly taken a hit. Visual quality is a little lackluster. Everything looks like it's covered in clay. Interesting. But, I mean, we're getting in the 250s. With no DLSS. Is this really necessary? I don't know, you decide. <laughs> I don't think it is. Um, yeah, it's a little oof looking. Um, Where's the city? Let's go back to Kedbardu. And, uh, take a look-see at the actual city village. Oh, it's daytime, finally! Yeah, things are, uh, very flat-looking. Um, ugh, 
character looks very odd. I mean, it could be worse, but whatever. Um, yeah, very strange. Um, yeah, I definitely would not play like this. But the option's there if you need it. Um, I mean, the characters still have shadows on the ground, and but the textures are noticeably blah. So let's uh, pop it back to uh, my settings, which is just uh, good old Ultra with DLA, which is good enough. Um, say, damn it. There we go. Whoa, four frames per second. Wow. Um, yeah, so Ultra, DLA. I don't need any of that DLSS. There we go. Beauteous. Looks lovely. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, another option you can kind of toy with is the sharpening. Um, but honestly, the sharpening... Oh, where am I going? Um, anything over 5, it starts to look really... I mean, if you go, like... You know, let's put it on 20, which isn't even that high. And you can see everything... I mean, yeah, it's sharp, but... It almost, like, starts to get this gritty look to it, which I'm not a fan of. Um, yeah, it's kind of... It's this odd look to it. I mean... It makes more of the details pop, but it's a little too too crispy. And if you really want to get crazy, you can <laughs> let's put this up to a hundred just so you see. Ah! Oh my God! Eyes are bleeding. Everything is just so. Eh, I don't know. It looks funky, funky licious. I mean, it's like, yeah, overly gritty. It's, yeah. I mean, the details pop, that's for sure, but no. No, don't like it. I don't know why anyone would use this. I mean, maybe if you have this on with the, uh, let's see here. Let's put the, uh, <laughs> Let's just see what this mess is going to look like with ultra performance and 100% sharpening. Ugh! Oh my god. It's just so... Oh, jeez. Hell no. That's even worse. Everything's just so... Ugh, shimmery and like... Ugh. No, can't do it. No, thank you. Alright. So, yeah, let's turn that since off. See, if you have sharpening completely off, um, let's put it back to DLA. It's a little soft. It's not bad. I mean, everything, there's no shimmering or jaggedness, so that's nice. But it's a little on the soft side. Um, so again, if you just uh, pop that sharpening on the like five, I think 10 would be like the absolute highest I would put it on. Um, but on five, I mean, if you look at the red tarp here, um, yeah, I think five is good. Yeah, just right for me. All right, so there you have it. Diablo four, a little graphics benchmark testing for you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.